Lucy. I've opened a detective agency on one of London's most happening streets. Any mystery solved, that's the Leighton Detective Agency's motto. I can't wait to find out what mysteries are waiting for me. You must come and visit me if you have the time. Yours faithfully, Catri- Hey, you there! <laughs> Who said that? Was it you? Can you really solve any mystery? Oh, a talking dog. You're not surprised? It's only talking. Only talking? Is it true? Huh? I want some proof. Can you really solve any mystery? Seeing you hang that sign gives me an idea. Mm, let's see you try your paw at this puzzle. Do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. <laughs> All right, you seem to be up to scratch. Thank you. Why don't you step inside? <laughs> For you. Look at me. It's obvious. What? I'm a talking dog. Yes, I can see that, and... And? <sighs> All right then, and I have total amnesia. Ah, a dog with amnesia. If I could just remember my parents, it might make more sense. I feel like I'm me, but not really me. I don't even know if I'm pedigree. Is that all? No, that's not all. I want you to find out who I really am. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. I'm a talking dog. Got anything else? A diabolical box that kills you? A letter from the future? A relic from an ancient civilization? Nothing like that? Nothing. Well, this is my first inquiry. Perhaps it's fate. All right then. Any clues? Well, not everyone can hear me talking. Some can, some can't. It's very rare to find someone who can, actually. <gasps> that... that dog! It just spoke! <sighs> and here's another rare someone who can hear you talk. Who's this? Apparently, he's my assistant. I told him I don't need help, but he won't listen. Overly dogged. No one wants that. What's all this about, Miss Leighton? This talking dog wants me to solve the mystery of who he is and where he comes from. So, we've had our first inquiry. Incredible, Miss. Such a fascinating case from day one. Your reputation obviously precedes you. So, I don't believe you told me your name. Ernest. Ernest Greaves, Miss. That's just what he's like. I see. Um, have... have I said something wrong? Uh, any 
anyway. I... I can't even remember my own name. Hmm. Well, do you remember anything else at all? I've got a vague memory of a tower or something falling down, and then lightning flashing across the sky. That's it. Oh, goodness, golly, not much to go on, is it? Who asked you? Uh, it certainly isn't. I've no other cases at the moment, so why not? I'll do what I can. You will? Well, that's great! Oh, but I must insist on my fee, even for man's best friend. Oh, I'm not poor. Well, here's the paperwork then. Now, you'll need a name. How about Sherl? Sherl? You said you can't remember your name. So, I've thought of one for you. With inspiration from the famous Sherlock Holmes. It really suits you. Oh, that's splendid, sir. Being named after such a prestigious figure, I mean. Like I said, who asked you, anyway? Look. Here. Sherl O.C. Combs. Sherl is a great name. Sure, girl. Don't yap, Sherl. <clears throat> Stop calling me that. Surely there's no need to get angry. Kurt, are you in? Ah. Inspector Hastings.